Billy's stomach is churning. His head is pounding while his hands are sweating in buckets. He's going to get his test back. Even after spending the previous night stressing and studying like crazy, he got a zero. Billy is a failure to his family, to himself, to the world. So he decided to take to the internet. On the internet, Billy found the stable student method and decided to apply this into his own life. It's been a year since he started applying the method and Billy feels out of this world, more confident than ever and with grades he never could have imagined. He achieved all of this with seemingly less effort than the year before. I'm going to show you how I improve my grades with minimal effort. Right now I'm going to cover my story on how I achieved good grades. But if you want to skip this part, I'll leave a timestamp right here. Alright, on to my story. So, in my first year of high school, I had some pretty bad grades. Specifically in math and English. I would literally be studying like the night before, just grinding away and like not being able to figure out everything and I would do bad. Like in math, I'd be so slow that after the bell would ring, I'd still be trying to write and finish. And I'd still have questions left, unanswered, because I was so slow. I didn't really understand the concepts. And yet I put so much stress into the night before. It was, it was quite a shame. And then in English, I was a terrible writer because of my bad habits. I, was, I spent the whole year watching anime straight up. <laughs> And then I was, I also had severe social anxiety. I literally like could not make eye contact. And then when it came to presentations, I would do a terrible job. Either I just stared at a script. Um, so this is my presentation today. In like a really quiet voice. And I would just do extremely poorly on those presentations. Whew. But then one day I had a realization that I'd pretty much been wasting my life because at that point I thought the school system was the only way to success as well. And yet I was spending most of my time wasting away to these cartoons. That night shifted my identity for the good and it changed everything. I'm gonna teach you the stable student method, which is the formula I made myself and I followed to fix my academics. The stable student formula is comprised of three main steps which are changing your identity, consistency, and focusing on yourself slash practicing good habits. So the first part, changing your identity, is honestly the most important part out of the three. This one will change your life for the better. To change your identity, you have to genuinely think of yourself as someone who cares about the grades, who's gonna put work in and time and effort as well. And you have to think of yourself as a high performing student as well, genuinely. But of course you can't think of yourself as these things genuinely if you have no proof to yourself. So you have to show yourself some proof that you're willing to put the time in, to put the effort in, and to put the work in. So you literally just have to bear down for a little bit and just start studying. And the reason you have to do this is because imagine a scenario where you think of yourself as a procrastinator, as someone who prefers watching anime over studying or whatever and does that. Naturally, you're going to become more inclined to do that because it's in your identity to believe that you're someone who wastes their time on mindless content, wasting away, not doing anything productive. But on the other hand, if you think of yourself as a really good student, someone who has good work habits, productive, spends their time improving themselves, you'll be more inclined to act on those beliefs and at the same time do better. So another good tool for changing your identity is to put your own pride and ego into it. So using your ego and your pride to your advantage is not necessarily the healthiest way and shouldn't be done long-term for your grades. However, in the short term, it is a really good way to force yourself to do well because you have some genuine pride in your um in your grades and how well you do your performance that you will put in the extra work you will make sure 
that you do well, if your ego is attached to it, because we are all pretty ego driven and selfish. So you may as well utilize it if you can. The next thing is consistency over cramming. What I started to do instead of studying the last minute everything at once was literally like the day after, or sorry, the day of that I learned, whatever I learned, I would just quickly take a look at it after school. And doing this would keep the retention in my head. Like my brain would retain everything so much better. And at least a week before every test or exam, I'd already start studying just little by little. Just a little bit every day goes a long way. In my opinion, it's better to practice for less time on longer periods than a short time. Now, the reason I believe this is because over the long term, the more you see things, repetition over sleep and just over more days, the better it stays in your head and the more time you have to really understand all the concepts. Because if you're studying on the last day, it's going to be really tough to find the right YouTube video or to just ask a teacher, a friend or whatever about, about the topic you don't understand. Versus if you study the night before, you might not have time to fully grasp the subject or like search it up and then get it because there's so much else to be studied. So pretty much set a reminder for yourself to study everything you've learned immediately after you've learned it and then start studying much earlier and you save yourself so much more time and stress and you, will do, and you will do better if you start studying earlier and then <laughs> so the next thing is practicing good habits and just taking care of yourself so this means practicing some sort of mindfulness like meditation journaling just getting things out of your head and understanding what you need to improve on i have a tutorial for meditation which you can see in the card here or here i don't exactly know where but it'll be the eye and I'm also going to make a future video concerning mindfulness. So stay tuned for that one if you want to improve that. The next thing to do with practicing good habits is your physical health, which is as important as your mental health for mental functioning. And it'll keep you a lot more mentally clear as well. And you'll just do better because when you feel good, when your body feels good, your mind feels really good as well. So the first thing and one of the most important nowadays is exercise. This can be in any form, as long as you're like moving. But I'd highly suggest, especially for teenagers <clears throat> later on, to start lifting weights and things like running, some sort of martial art, a sport, and just walking in general. In general, ooh. just move around constantly and get your exercise in because that's something that's going to carry you for the rest of your life. And it's more important than ever in this modern day and when you're spending a lot more time sitting around. Next thing is your diet. Try to eat healthy, so more whole foods, less junk food, of course. And consciously try to keep your sugar intake low because that'll keep you feeling a lot better, honestly. Keeping that low and not having junk food will keep you feeling a lot less groggy and tired throughout the day. The next is hydration. So your brain needs water to function, your body is made up mostly of water, which is why it's so important to drink water. So I have this massive one liter bottle, which I really enjoy, because there's just, I don't know, so much water. It's nice to have a large quantity of water near you and you just drink it more. I noticed that if I just leave this near me, I'll just start taking sips and stuff and eventually it's gonna be gone. So I drink around three liters of water a day, just two normally, and then one whenever I work out. So I'd highly suggest getting a bigger water bottle and drinking more water. The last thing is just to go outside, go touch some grass. Okay, that wasn't very funny. Just getting some fresh air. Really clears up your mind and gets you in the mental state to get more done, to study more, to be more productive which is what you need for better grades. So the last thing to do with practicing good habits to get better grades is social skills. Believe it or not, this is extremely important, not only for presentations, but literally just to clear up your head and do better. Because I meant, as I mentioned earlier, I used to literally walk around with my head down and I couldn't even walk in the middle of the hallways when it was empty. Crazy, bro. 
I couldn't make any eye contact. I'd be really nervous while talking to people. I just like really couldn't do it. And this really affected my presentations, as I mentioned earlier. I literally just could not do them well. Like at one point, I would hide in the closet just to avoid presentations. So of course, I mean, that affects your grade really badly. If you do a bad job with presentations. So to fix this social anxiety, what I'd highly suggest first is fixing your, no. The first thing I'd highly suggest is becoming less needy because that's usually the reason why you have so much social anxiety. So I'll put a card up somewhere for the, my video on neediness. I really highly suggest this for if you wanna become less socially anxious. But the main points of practicing social skills is practicing good eye contact and then getting out of your comfort zone, talking to more people. It's gonna be very uncomfortable at first, but you just have to do it. That's the only way to get better at it. And then another thing is practicing body language. Literally, I would be standing there, fixing my posture, of course. Always. I'll make a video on that sometime. And posture is really important. Literally just having good posture makes you feel so much better about yourself. Like it's honestly wild. You really have to correct your posture if you don't have good posture. Oh, that's a lot of posture. So the better you get at social skills, the better you get at presentations. It's literally exponential. So if you take care of yourself and practice these good habits as well, you're gonna gain some confidence, which will make everything so much easier studying and stuff because your brain will be so much more clear and you'll, and you'll be able to focus much better on the actual work and just learning in general. So to become a better student, you must first change your identity, stay consistent and take care of yourself really well. I hope you gained some knowledge from this video. Remember to stay mindful always.